Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our sixth video in PySide 2 uh, GUI application development. So in the previous video we have uh, learned that how you can create tooltip in PySide 2. So this was from the previous video that we have tooltip for these uh, uh, icon, uh, icons. And uh, in this video I'm going to talk about Q push button, creating of Q push button in PySide 2 and also we are going to talk a little bit about signal and slots mechanism so now let's get started uh first let me just create uh, the push button and after that i will talk about the signal and slot mechanism so uh now uh, i'm going to copy my previous code from uh, uh, this was from i think it was second video uh, this is just a creation of window because i don't want to repeat the code and I'm going to just copy uh, this code and paste it in here so now let me just change the title to PySide2 uh, Q push button and uh, if I run this uh, this is just an empty GUI window in PySide2 and I will make my push button in this window so you can see we have uh, uh, PySA2 Q push button. This is a window. You can watch the previous video or you can get the source code from my blog and I have added in the video description. So now let's get started. Uh, in here I'm going to create a new uh, method. So I call this diff uh, set button. Uh, also I need to import uh, Q push button in here. So from PySci2 we need Q push button. Okay, now uh, in here let me create. I am going to create just uh, one button. So button Q push button. And in here you need to give, uh, for example, the name. I want to give it quit. And also give the uh, parent. Uh, I want it should be self and after this uh, uh, for right now because we haven't learned about uh, uh, layout management in PySci2 so uh, uh, because in every GUI application when you want to develop uh, the important uh, you need to know about the layout management so uh, because we haven't learned uh, I'm going to just uh, move this button so this is not a good idea that uh, right now I'm doing but after when we have learned about layout management uh, I will show I will add my widgets in the layout so right now I'm going to just move my button because at the, it is at the top at the top uh, so now I want to move this in the X and Y position so I want to give you 50 and 100 like this. Okay, now uh, we have created our push button method. Now we need to call this. So let me call this in here. So self dot set button. Now let me just run this. Okay, so now you can see we have a button in here. This is a quit button. Uh, now uh, when we click there is nothing happen and uh, now it's time that we are going to talk about signal and slots uh, mechanism now uh, signal and slots are used uh, for communication between some objects or widgets uh, a signal is emitted when a particular event occurs and a slot is called when it's connected signal is emitted so uh, there are uh, uh, a lot of uh, defined uh, signals that we have for example we have clicked we have triggered and there are some more so now I want to show you uh, for this first of all I'm going to create uh, a slot or also we can call it a method in here I want when a user click on that uh, I want to show a queue message box so let me create def uh, for this uh, so def quit app and also you need to add Q message box in here like this 
let me create a user info uh, queue message box dot I want a queue question message box right now we haven't learned about message box but in the further videos we will talk about different types of message box so right now I want to create a question message box so the parent is self and this is the title confirmation and this is uh, the text that uh, uh, for example I want to write uh, do you want so do you want to quit quit the application and uh, now uh, we need to give the uh, questions in here so it's Q message box dot yes or we have uh, Q message box dot no uh, Q message box dot no okay now so now let me uh, we are going to check so if user and here we need to check if user info is q message box dot yes in this case uh, so if this is the case we in this case we are going to quit the app so my app dot quit lf user info as q message box dot no for right now we don't do just we are going to pass uh, now this is uh, so this was a, a slot or we can call it a method right now if we run our application and uh, if we click on quit uh, we see there's nothing happen but now uh, we need to connect our this start to the uh, clicked signal of Q push button so one of the signals that is related to push button that is a uh, clicked and uh, in here uh, we need to connect this so btn1 dot clicked dot connect self dot quit app so this is the method that we have created and now let me just run this okay so now uh, if I click on quit you can see I have a confirmation so do you want to quit the application if I click on no uh, it's uh, because we are not doing anything in here and if I click on yes you can see uh, our application uh, exited so now let me run it again if I click on quit you can see do you want to quit the application click on yes now we have closed the application so thank you guys um, I will add the source code of uh, this video and the in my blog you can check that uh, I have added the link to the video description uh, also you can subscribe to my channel you can share the video uh, for the further videos